afternoon guys. Uh, Friday afternoon now. I didn't come down at all yesterday. I was green quacked after tipping all them tubs. So I had a day away. But as you can see, I got rain now. It's a bit of a drizzle at the moment. I'm taking a couple of them home now to uh, start some onion seeds off, some more uh, pickle and onions. Yes, it's not been a lot done up here by anybody. All the <laughs> getting a bit depressed. A couple of, couple of friends out with the plots because they carp out of weed. It's the old girl. She's harvesting my tomatoes. Uh, no cucumber. I think we might need a cucumber. I'm going to have a look for a cucumber. Radishes have come through. Spring onions have come through another one. It was very mild here this morning. You won't believe it, to be quite honest. I opened my cold frame up just now and I've got two cabbage whites in it. So no, I don't, can't figure out how they got in it. But I've just now uh, gone through them and sorted them out. Yeah, cucumbers have had it now, look. Yeah, they have had it, so just let them keep going as long as they can. Look at this weed. Look at it. John's depressed with it. Bob, well, he said within a week. He's been up here trying to push pull hot. Lettuces are picked up for the rain. I've got some more I want to put up. Sprouts, well, sprouts, manky sprouts. Look no good. I need to cut my path for grass again. Now we're going to be wet for a while. No, there ain't many beans, there ain't many flowers, so that could be the end of them and all. So we're running up to the end of everything now. Uh, it's a continuous battle against weeds on allotments, guys, if you're thinking about having one. And snails and slugs. And look at this. And caterpillars. That really is a battle against everything. Under this net in here, they were all in better shape. So, obviously, I've got to get that covered. Look at this all up weeds. I, I held this all up while ago. I've got to now get... Well, I can't cover that now. I'm going to have to let it dry. I've got until the end of October before I can have a bonfire. If you look at me, uh, hey, pack it up, you look. I've got one of them. She's lost all the feathers. So look at this. Carpet of grass coming. Do you, do you believe it? Leeks look like they're doing well. Uh, turnips. This should be three rows of turnips there, and I'm not going to be able to find any of them, I don't think. The weed. I've got carrots in there, and I can see the carrots now. You have to put a little nick or something in them. Yeah, so... Uh, well, hopefully the weather will help me out more. That's all I can say. That's all I'm going to do. Got a, got a, we're now going to have a couple. And we're, we're bugging off them, I'm afraid. So we've got loads of things to do at home. I've got some more beetroot pa pa uh, seeds. Because my son's now blooming crying out for the beetroot because he love it. And the kids love it. So they're, uh, they're blooming eating a jar or two a week nearly. Right, yeah, range here. They don't mind the way, they're cooling off a bit. Here I come, what's up? There you go, oh, that's really fine drizzle now. That's me done for the day, look at this lot. Oh, that's okay. a big, big... all they do, drink tea. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Right guys, as you can see, we're, we're stuck under that cloud now. I think, don't know how long we're going to be. That green stuff, everybody's got it. I don't know, he's been over rotivating this. Right, we are going to finish my tea and go home. Right, stay safe everybody. Right, that's a little harvest today. Some more tomatoes. These will, a lot of these tomatoes will possibly kill to my uh, elders. And I'm now going to start to put some seed onions in, get them going early. I want to, oh, this is an old pack, what is this? 
July 18. <laughs> Best before September 20. Two years old, so I'm going to put these in a little tray and see how they go. This is what we start the onions off in. But this is what I'm going to do with the uh, these. Off we go. So I'll use a whole packet. If I get half a packet work, that's a bonus, isn't it? You know, so what I'll just do is I'll sip some on top. I've got this little mini sips. What I'll do with these, because we've got drizzle outside, I'll stick them outside just to let the old drizzle get onto them, the old rain, soften them up. And then uh, I'll put a lid on them. Put them in my greenhouse. Let's see if I can just get them going. We've been still very mild here, so we were uh, quite lucky. The older nights are getting cooler. There we go, you see that? All nicely, neatly done. All you've got to do is just take that bit out of the sun. Right, piece, you know. there we go. Red onions, Bedfordshire champion. Red onions Box. in there. Normal Bedfordshire champion onions in there. And then I'm going to put a polycarbonate. Wasn't that on? Yes, we've done well. Oh dear, guys. That's that done. Now I'll cover them with a fine dust and I'm going to stick my side in the rain. And then I've got a cupboard to go on top of them. So I'm using Clover Professional. At the moment it's £8.50 a bag up this way. Do expect it to work, but it's good. Yeah, it's very good. It's better than some of the stuff I've had this year. I've had some real bad rubbish. Alright guys, I've just left them to get uh, saturated in the rain. So what I'll do, is I've got to wash that. I'll move them to my greenhouse. The old pitches. I throw a bit of feed out for them. Get slowly getting used to it. Here's the boss. Now going to freeze up some tomatoes to make soup. Going to change things come down, you know. Right. Put them in there. As you can That's see, I'm, I'm getting me orders. Look, getting me orders. Chains. We bought these. These are butcher chains, and we found them to be blooming brilliant. Right, they've got to come off. That's all for now. Stay safe, all of you. Be happy. Good morning, guys. It's Saturday morning. We had quite a bit of raining in through the night, and a bit early on. I'm probably going to get a bit later. Later on. Plenty of planes in the skies, plenty of people still leaving the country. Uh, yeah, so my plan today is to try and... Uh, I'm moving the chickens first. I'm moving the chickens so all them tubs will come over here. Then the chickens will go to nearly where that line is, that carrot line. So they'll have a little bit more of an area, but... Uh, we've got uh, avian bird flu in this area, but they've put it down to normal now. So I was watching on the news, Anglian News, and they've said we're okay. So if anybody wants to let the uh, authorities know that I'm letting my chickens out, you're quite welcome to. I haven't had an email or text from uh, the council anyhow to tell me, so I'm good. Right, so all them tubs are now going to be moved over there in a minute. Look at, see, look at this. I don't know whether you all get it up there. Have you seen it? blankets of it. Every plot up here has got a blanket of that weed and it's, it's come out of the come with the rain. It's got to come with the rain. Right so off we go. It's busy up here today. These lot are waiting to get out. Look at them little buggers. Right guys that's then moved over into that spot. I have to lock her in because she's molten see they pick on her so she don't get to no food. So I've left her in there to get a load of food and then... But they're not... <laughs> dug, it, dug my spuds up, look. <laughs> they just had, had some wet bread. They love wet bread. Even old Fluffy over there, she know what that is. Sunflower mean seeds. It's nice to see them out. Right, guys. Uh, I've got some potatoes in here, which were chitting, and I was hoping... A bit of rain might push them a bit and then I'll, I'm going to move them into tubs and put them in a polytunnel. Right, I've got some tomatoes, old tomatoes to harvest for the chickens. Right here guys, it's nearly one o'clock, I'm normally off on, I know, but I'm going to just try and have a, a quick weed amongst these three rows of carrots. 
I'm the only, just about the only one up here now. Everybody's gone. It's now turned out nice. Right, off we go. Hey guys, I've done a little bit. I've got to be very careful with the middle one. A bit hit and miss, but these are red core. And hopefully, I'll, I might give them a, if I can remember, a liquid seaweed tomorrow. Feed. Let's see if I can push them on, but that's me done for the day. I've got to go get some diesel, look at the sky. Hopefully that'll... Well, I'd rather it not rain, because when I weed, you really need your weeds to dry before, if not, if it rain and wet them, they'll uh, regrow. Right, guys, off we go. Bye. Guys, I've been putting on all your own collies up the end there. Uh, they're, they're a little bit young, but they'll be alright, and I'll go down a lot more later on. And uh, greyhound cabbages. Look at this. She's getting tamer and tamer. She want me to fire some seed. Come to see me. And that's what's left of them. And I have stayed egg on. Been just, just tidying this out. There's a couple of wild cabbages. Oh, I suppose there, so I'll take them down. My last of my tomatoes. I'll keep that one for seed. Them two. Uh, in there, two varieties of onions. So they'll need a bit of a water on because they'll dry quick in here. Uh, and all this lot look, has finally had it, but I'm just letting it go, leaving it. There's still some red ones on it, and they've actually got a lovely taste. Mm. I'm sorry. But Sorry, mm. I'll probably, mm, I'm thinking I'm keeping them again and just rejuvenate them and see what happens. I've had them two years now, the grow bags. So it just shows you haven't got to throw away immediately. If you can get some, I'm now going to order some more chicken pellets. I want to use a lot more chicken pellets on the allotment because uh, I think the, uh, I'm looking for another tomato to eat, sorry I'm more waffling away. I think the old uh, cow poo I had has brought in a lot of weed and there's a lot of people moaning about the weed, strange weeds we're getting now. So, have a go. Hey guys, Sunday morning, that's about 11. Uh, I'm going to try and do a last spot today. Now the ground is a bit more wetter. It should be easier to get it out. Got the roll there. I don't think it's a double roll, but we'll see. It's very quiet up here today. Uh, we had a lot of rain last night. Look at this lot. You don't believe it, do you? Look. I don't know. We're blanketed with everybody. Look at that lot over there, poor boy. Yeah, this plot all clear. Even the one next to them, that was clear the other day. They rotivated it. <sighs> Leaks are taken now, that's one thing. Still got white butterfly about. I know it's coming off. I need to get the scrimmer out. Get this lot sorted, blasted, chopped up. Swedes there, they're taken, lettuces are taken, lines are not very straight. Carrots are taken, as you can see, and they're now starting to get a fresh leaf on them. Ah, dear. It's a bit cold in this wind. Right, let me get my fork, so we can get what we can. Alright guys, here we go. I don't think that's a double well, but I'm not certain. I should really look back on my old videos. I'll start right in here. Oh well. Oh, here we go, guys. <laughs> Bloody Noah. Well, the green ones will come out, so I will get boiled. Oh dear! Look at the size of them. They're crackers. Keep you going for a little while. Let's go this side. I don't think it's double, I think it's a definite single. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's definitely a 
missing. They're very good size. I'll tell you this, they really are a good size. I'll tell you what, it's been extremely quiet out there. Lots of plots seem to be emptied. See, we've all got lazy, I believe, in life. We, uh, we're too used to having everything done for us. We all talk about the old times when we had frost on the inside of the windows. And it was like that, it was so cold. You just got up, you put a pair of shorts on to go to school in, and no matter what the temperature was, you went. You know, nowadays, they get a slight snow, ice or anything on the ground. That's it, they're off school. Custer used to go swimming when I was young in the sea. North Sea, as I'm talking about and all. That used to be freezing cold, but crap, didn't it rejuvenate you? That charged you up, I really did. Look at this lot. This is only a single. I've just ordered my spuds. I think it's JAC Scotland. Something like that. I order mine from. I've been doing it for quite a few years now. And I've not had a problem with any of them. Any of the spuds they've sent me. I know they've had to go up a bit this year, which we all expect. Look at this. Bone dry. Bone dry. We had quite a bit of rain again. Last night we had some heavy downpours. Must remember get the little ones out. Oh, look at them. These are Picasso. These really are, are fantastic. I've ordered these again. There you go. Yeah, as I was taught years ago when we were all, you know, we didn't have double glazed windows. <laughs> used to bloody freeze into us. Used to have a cool fire. And now, we got too lazy to turn the heat and dial up. My old girl say to me, you can shut off, I'm not freezing. <laughs> and I told her, I said, you've got about 500 tea candles in there. Brick and light some of them up. Do you know, we've been sitting in our lounge, she, used, she always did it, she always used to light candles up and we used to sit there and go, it's nice, actually romantic, and uh, we start to do it again and it's lovely, so cosy, it really is so cosy, it's, uh, it's enjoyable just to sit there and try not to watch the news. Because that's a brainwash job. Every time, I would just wish there was a channel called the Good News Channel, where they do nothing but good news about people who have recovered from illnesses. You know, not doom and gloom all the time. They try and kill us all. Right, I'm going to show you what I've got out of that quarter row. I was swearing, but oh, I don't know. I'll probably only get half of this. I might get the whole lot done. I don't know. Oh dear. See, guys, I've probably done two thirds of a row. And I've, uh, <laughs> look at the size of them now. There's not many little ones. There's some green ones because they're all coming up on the surface now. Right, I've got to try and lift that into the van. Right, guys. There's a the last bud. And she's just harvested all the apples and the last of the pears. Took it out of me. I've got warm now. I'm going to have a cover. I've got a row there. I'm going to try and get out by that. I'll possibly one, uh, a row a day. I would have done them all this week. Oh, yeah, lovely apples there. 
Right guys, for some unknown secret reason, the white cabbage butterflies have found a hole in here somewhere. And they're getting in. So I've actually took me uh went of greens out and I put in my polytone. They might feel a bit better and all they might be getting hot. Right guys, sorry about that. That's all for today. Kill me that has taken one well up, but I've got seven more to do, so hopefully I'll get them up by the end of the year. <laughs> bye for now, bye.